The people were evacuated to Rough and Ready on the Macon and Western Railroad for further transport south. Gone with the wind. Before there was a town named Mountain View, which wasn't named until 1956, it was just rough and ready. A railroad stop 13 miles south of Atlanta. A stagecoach stop on the road to Macon as well. Mountain View is an unincorporated hamlet in northwest Clayton County, Georgia. This is the Rough and Ready Tavern or sometimes called the Bagley House. It was an eating house for passengers on the Macon and Western Railroad when it was constructed in 1846. During the Atlanta campaign, it was the temporary headquarters for Confederate Lieutenant General William J. Hardy. Mass evacuation of Atlanta's population was necessary because Atlanta had become an armed camp and under martial law by federal forces. Margaret Mitchell included the tavern Rough and Ready in her book Gone with the Wind, most likely because she heard stories as a child because one of the first stops from Rough and Ready for those evacuated south would have been Lovejoy Station, which was very close to her grandfather's plantation, the Fitzgerald Plantation. But where was the Rough and Ready Tavern? Here we are in Mountain View, but old timers would know it as Rough and Ready. And we know that the Rough and Ready Tavern was located somewhere over here where the historical markers used to be. Down this way. We know that somewhere, I remember reading that it was near milepost 284. This used to be the Macon and Western Railroad, then the Central of Georgia. Now it's part of Norfolk Southern. But the milepost marker's down that way a little bit. So, but it's possible the, the markers may be in a different location from back in the Civil War, because, you know, it's, it's a long way to Savannah. <laughs> That's, what, 284 miles away from the other end of the railroad. So, but uh, the, the drawing of the Rough and Ready Tavern shows it being on a gentle uphill. And that's why I was thinking that maybe it was down in this area rather than over here where the historical markers were because the land fall, you know, fell off quickly over here. So anyway, that's, that's just my two cents on it. And what can we see over here, Kevin? From this spot here, you can see Stone Mountain way off in the distance. Uh, we are actually high enough. We're on the Eastern Continental Divide. All the water on that side goes in the Atlantic Ocean. Back behind us, it all goes in the Gulf of Mexico. This entire area is under tremendous change. Old Dixie Highway is being moved and the railway is being redirected as well. The historic markers have been removed and may not be replaced. So what happened to the tavern? Well, the tavern remains were last seen in 1907 when it was torn down and its wood was used in a nearby home being built. But we do know that it stood near this spot. The Rough and Ready Tavern, etched in many memories long ago as an important wayfaring stop on the way out of Atlanta during the turbulent Atlanta campaign of the Civil War, may be lost forever in time.